super foggy. Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, come back for more, you're supposed to say. Oh, come back tomorrow. Yeah. All right, so it is 8.25, we left, we basically got it, we left at six. My hair is crazy. Left at six, but got on the road at 6.30 cause we got gas, got roadside snacks. Um, I started driving, but we're, I promised Sarah that we would do more switching off, so we stopped for gas again, and so he could go to the bathroom, and so we switched. Yes. We're going to keep switching, but Peter is going to do the mountains. He requested the mountains, so that's, that's our compromise. Alright, we're back in almost 60 degree weather. We stopped at a Phillips 66, the most amazing store, most amazing restrooms. But right across from there, that's where we're going next. Taco Bell for some hot food. I'm back in the car seat, search for driving. We've listened to Louisa May Alcott Revisited, the History Chicks podcast. Um, loving it so far. But I'm ready to drive through, finish Ono, because it's the worst part of this drive, and maybe get through those mountains in Nashville. I know there are far more difficult things in life, but one of those things is eating food in a moving car with a doggy got a black bean quesarito al fresco style that means they take off sour cream and cheese and they add in <clears throat> and the chipotle sauce and they add in um maybe guacamole no pico de, pico de gallo yeah so you don't have to say vegan or plant-based or anything you just say al fresco style and then we both got crunch wrap supreme how is it with the potatoes better than last time okay gotta go eve's on the move Eve, what did Peter just say? You're crusty, girl. You need a bath. <laughs> we are 17 miles? 17 miles from Nashville. We just went through a brutal patch of traffic. In a brutal edit of the vlog. For some reason, yeah. it kept crashing. I also like can't read or be on my phone a lot in the car because of car sickness. There's lots of little edits. The music kept on messing up. But I'm happy, we're here, we're revived. It's 2 p.m.-ish. Yeah. 70s, 70 degrees. Yeah. So 17 miles until Nashville. And then I think, is it another 12 hours home? I think so. Basically. Yeah. Um, so that is our mark. Peter's been driving for a while, so we'll probably switch soon. We're gonna go to a rest area, get the back situated. Eve is just exhausted. Um, yesterday she did not nap at all, which sounds funny for a dog, but she relies on her naps. Um, and so then like another crazy car ride, I'm going to hopefully get her situated in the back and then Peter and I can switch. A better look at Nashville this time around than on our way down. I don't know if I've, I've been this close to it. I feel like we're usually farther away. Are we on? Wow. Before we go to the mountain, towards the mountains, we filled up with our gas and let Eve go to the bathroom and look what we found. Whoa. <laughs> Eve has the seat. Eve is super excited. We thought these were out of business, the ones near us Jamba in Juice Chicago. Health and <laughs> yeah, Jamba Juice. So we went through the drive through and get a Jamba Juice to share. What did we get? Pomegranate in paradise. paradise. We're going to share it. The larges are super large and in charge. Yeah. I wish I could have some chicken nuggets right now. Me too. But I'm I'm real excited about this. We like we looked at each other when we saw it and we were just like no questions asked. We must get it. Now we're staying at the Hilton Garden Inn. Just kidding, we are not staying here. We are pushing on through. But there is some like weird convention center. They're <laughs> stressing out because we're Half, we're somewhere between almost halfway, halfway, or just over halfway. We're really almost halfway. And it's 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah. East Coast time. We knew it was going to be a late night getting in. Yeah, and we feel and good. Time. And you want to know what? I think, like, now that the vlog is done for me, I feel even better. And mm -hmm. it's, like, good. It feels even better. Like, 
the fact that it's already three o'clock like is mind boggling to me. Like I, I do not feel like we've been on the road that long. Okay, I gotta get Eve situated. Yeah, baby. Now that is comfy. He's so sleepy. Peter got the back situated for a little <laughs> cozy <clears throat> area for Eve. This is what Peter lives for. It's been many, many trips driving since we've been through this park going south, which is way better and more exciting through the mountains than north. During the day. This is the beginning. We just saw something for the next four miles falling rock. About three miles of this, that's when it starts getting real crazy. for like 30, 30 minutes, right? Another eight miles. Another eight miles. We all know how Peter feels about stop and go traffic. So we stopped at the rest area, like going into Georgia. And it looks, oh, Evie's ready to go. Looks like the traffic that we were in basically ends here. So hopefully, oh no, down there, there's more red lights. But anyways, it is supposed to be close to ending. And then we will be on the real move again. Eva's just so happy to be stretching her legs. Vlogging and walking a 12 pound dog is not easy. All right, filled up gas again, eight <laughs> o'clock now. We're just like filling up like $10 here and there just like keep it fresh. Well, Hopefully we won't stop for a while after this. Yeah, I think we ride it down to almost like the last quarter. Okay. We're in Georgia. We yeah. haven't gotten to Atlanta yet. We're almost there though, like really close. But he went to the bathroom. I got, you know, I said Red Bulls. We got Subway. Red Bulls? Yeah. And we got Subway. We're ready to, awesome. to chug along. What kind of Subway did you get? Just regular veggies. They didn't have anything else. Okay, that's all right. I don't know. Maybe your fans, your Subway was just fancy. I don't know. For being in the my, big city. <laughs> my, fit, my Subway had falafel and had veggie patties. This didn't have either. So, oh, well, it's still good. It'll still be good before. toasted veggie sandwiches. Right, we are in Ashburn, Georgia at a flash food market. Uh, no, I've never seen this gas station before, but we are filling up for what should be the last time. We're about 60 miles from the Florida border. Border, border, border. Sarah's all the way over there with Eve, right there. And it'll be good to go the last couple hours. Who just passed us? We made friends. <laughs> we made a friend on the road. We're calling her Betty. We but have no idea who she is. This white car, we've been like neck and neck with, neck and neck with for literally an hour. Maybe longer, because when you first told me about it, you said 25 minutes, and it's been a long time. But they just zoomed in front of us. Sometimes they look at us. Oh, they're from Iowa. A few moments later. Betty is just a memory in your rear view mirror. She, Betty just got off in the exit. I don't know if she's going to get gas or if she's going to a real exit. But they slowed down and severely. I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And like, they were always in the first lane and I would pop between oh. the second and third. And I was like, wait, why are you in the third lane? Why are you in the third lane? And I was like, Betty, you're going too slow. I'm like, we're losing you. And all of a sudden I saw her veer with the turn signal off the exit ramp. It's 146. And 70 degrees. And we're less than 100 miles away. We should get home by 3. Yeah. If we don't stop. If we don't stop. I think I'm going to go to sleep right now. We're going to stop right here. <laughs> Guys, we made it. We are almost downtown. You can see downtown. We're getting on I 4 right now. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. That the chase with Betty and the glee, like 
concert. <laughs> the Glee concert that we had. Basically, we just went on Spotify and played all the Glee songs that we love. Really got us through it. And we are gonna sleep good tonight. Honestly, this was probably like our most successful drive all the way through. Yeah. I actually brought in more than I thought I would, but that is right there for the night. It is 3.10 in the morning and we are home, safe and sound. Tis the season. Tis the season. You're right, let's do a daily message and then we will sign off, get some rest, and maybe go to Epcot really early. Today's the 29th? Oh yeah. Or 28th. Stay true in the dark and humble in the spotlight. Harold B. Lee. Ooh. I wonder if you've got all kinds of sleep in the car. She really didn't though. But she just, I think she's excited to be home. <laughs> but she did just run away like, let's play. All right, thank you for following along with our Chicago journey. Thanks for yeah. understanding those days we took off. Yeah. Um, and the journey continues. Yeah, new year. It's so like, we always say this, like it's fun to look forward to just like a fresh Disney World, no holiday. Just but yeah, we might try to magic. sneak over to Epcot tomorrow yeah. and absorb the last little bit, the and very my last day. And her sister and her husband are But they're not going to Epcot tomorrow. No, no, no. But we might try to go to Epcot tomorrow to do the very last day of Festival of the Holidays. Yeah. Since we, I think, only did one Two. visit to it. Yeah, something ridiculous. It's good, it's to, good be to be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.